Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ritaj, and today I will be introducing Mr. Gunnar Garfors and Mrs. Jacqueline Kunz. Mr. Garfors holds the world record for the first person to travel all the world twice. And also, Mrs. Jacqueline Kunz, she's traveled almost 100 countries. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you so much for coming here. I'm so pleased to have you both here. Thank you so much for having us. Yes. It's always a pleasure to be in Kuwait, a wonderful yes. country. So the first question I'll be asking you is, how was your first travel experience and how did you feel? Well, I traveled a bit with my family. I have three younger brothers and three younger sisters okay. and my parents. We didn't have a lot of money, so we were driving in a minibus, because there are so many of us, and a caravan mm -hmm. to Sweden and to the UK. And, uh, and that was pretty much it. And I, I just loved being able to see new places. And then I got a little bit older and I managed to travel on my own uh, all around Europe to, I think, 14 countries uh, via rail, via trains, uh, with a friend. And uh, every new country I came to, I just remember, wow, another country, a uh, new place to visit, new culture, new, f uh, new foods, you know, new yeah. people. So I was so excited about this. And, and you know, after doing this for some time, I just, uh, I just realized I, I wanted to see more. It's about curiosity to me. It's about yes. meeting, meeting people. Yeah, it's always great to travel all around the world and you know get to know different uh, experiences and to know different cultures. Uh, so, what was your inspiration to travel all around the world? What inspired you, made you take oh, that step? I, well, I was actually um, talking to one of my brothers about traveling somewhere. He's he used to be a teacher, mm -hmm. so he had a time off uh, for autumn, one week. And we're talking about traveling to a country we didn't really know much about. Uh, we didn't want to go to France or Spain or the United States, any of the, let's say, normal countries. We decided on, on uh, Kyrgyzstan and we ended up in Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan and we were, we were received with such hospitality. Uh, it really opened my mind and I said, wow, I have to see more of this region. And I promised myself to see every Stan countries, all the seven uh, countries ending with Stan. Yeah. Um, and then I finished this uh, a few years later and I, I still wanted more. And then I think I was, uh, I'd visited 85 countries and I said, I will go to, to the remaining countries in the world because I will not be happy until I've seen every single country and at least mm -hmm. met someone uh, local, some, someone living in this country and yes. you know, try their food and had a conversation with them and actually experienced something. That's, that's great. Um, and um, since if you've traveled all around the world, uh, what have you learned the most? Like what's the most, uh, like the best experience you've learned from traveling in general? Well, it's about being humble. It's about uh, knowing how privileged you are that you're able to actually travel. Most mm -hmm. people can never travel outside their country. Maybe they don't have a passport. Maybe they don't have the money. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is, uh, there is unrest. There is a war in, in neighboring countries or, or, or their own. So just being able to appreciate this and, and be thankful and be yes. humble when we meet people from other countries. Typically, they take us and they show us around and they invite us for barbecues or hikes in the mountains or even a wedding yes. and, and then it's so easy for us to, to, to just say wow we're so lucky you know this is yes. so great and you know you tell your friends you put it on social media without actually thinking that these people that invite you to their homes or to their weddings they probably also want to travel as much as you do and many many of them most of them actually never have the, the possibility to do so so I think um, probably the most important thing is realizing that to be able to travel is indeed um, a privilege yes. and also understanding that everybody looks upon their home their country as the center of the universe yeah. so you know it's very easy that oh me from norway norway is the center of the universe mm -hmm. and everywhere else is uh, it's not so central but they think exactly the same thing or you think exactly the same thing here in kuwait in Tuvalu, in the Pacific, in Paraguay, and in South America, everybody thinks this. So it's, it's important to, to have this in mind, yes. that everybody has different viewpoints. There are no right ways to do things. Yes. There are no wrong ways to do things either. There are just different things. Yes, you're definitely right. It's always good to be humble. And, so, and um, since you've been to India, of course, uh, so can you share with us how was your experience in India? 
I love India. I've been to India so many times. Um, I've been to quite a few places, not everywhere, unfortunately, and I'll definitely be back uh, many times. One of my favorite regions, or my favorite region uh, indeed in India is Kerala, mm -hmm. uh, where I traveled with um, my brother, who was actually working in Chennai. Uh, with another brother who came along and one of my sisters and we went on the backwaters there we traveled up in, into the hills um, we came i'd previously been in goa and i really enjoy goa as well but mm -hmm. i must admit i find it a little bit too touristy mm -hmm. so um so so kerala stood out in in many ways. Mumbai I really appreciate as well. Mm -hmm. Delhi, even though these are huge cities <laughs> and very very different. Uh, I love the hustle and bustle. I love the people watching. I love talking to, to people from the different uh, uh, regions and the different cities. Um, Chennai where my brother, he was working at the time. Uh, that, was, um, that was really nice in most ways but temperature was too high so I, <laughs> I almost uh, I, I, I mo almost had a, a faint uh, you know almost fainted due to the heat oh god <laughs> <laughs> wow. but the food I mean the food in yeah, India the food is, is lovely. incredible yes. and also the people and you know the hospitality they're showing it's uh, it really warms my heart to, yes. to travel to India every time India is indeed a very wonderful country and uh, yeah we have a question for you this is Jacqueline okay. so you uh, as we have uh, told uh, our viewers, mm. that you have traveled to almost 100 countries. Yes. So can you tell us about your personal gains? What have you gained in general from well, visiting those countries? Lots of friends. So that's, <laughs> yeah, so that's the nice thing about travel is you get to meet people from around the world and you make friends with people from the, around the world. So you get to try a lot of different foods. Mm -hmm. um, and like what Gunnar said before about learning to be humble and mm. appreciate uh, what you have. Mm -hmm. I think it's also important to see how other people live and that the way you live isn't the only way to live and you can kind of get different perspectives on your own lifestyle through that okay that's yeah. that's great um so thank you so much once again we are so happy to have you here fly world is very very pleased to have both of you here and welcome to kuwait once again and uh yes wish you all the best for everything and uh, i'm very glad that you both of you have shared your experiences with us uh, regarding your uh, travel experience and uh, yes I will just uh, give a small brief regarding Fly World Luxury uh, we are a travel and tourism research we provide services regarding um, providing packages and visa consultancy cruises and um, yes uh, we will uh, do our level best uh, like we always do to uh, serve our customers in the best way possible and thank you so much have a nice day ulogam chutti sanjaricha rendu vyaktigalude anubhavangalana nammal ippol ketathu appom ellavarkkum idu pattum ennulladana ivarli rendu perilude nammalku manasilai irikkunathu appo adinu fly world etra maatram help chey fly world luxury tourism research center ningalku etra maatram help cheyum ennana njan oru minute le ningalodu ippol parayan povunathu ഇപ്പോൾ ഈ ഗ്ലോബൽ ആണെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾക്ക് എത്രമാത്രം ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് ആണ് ഇതിൽ കൺട്രീസ് ഫൈൻഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ കോണ്ടിനെൻറ്റ് ബേസിൽ ഇപ്പം നമ്മളുടെ ആ ഒരു സിസ്റ്റം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കോണ്ടിനെൻറ്റിനെ പ്ലേസ് ചെയ്തേക്കുന്ന ഒരു സിസ്റ്റം നമുക്ക് വളരെ എളുപ്പമാണ് ആ ടെറിട്ടറീസ് ഏതൊക്കെയാണ് ഷെയർ ചെയ്യുന്നതെന്നും എത്ര രാജ്യങ്ങളുണ്ടെന്നും ഏത് രാജ്യങ്ങളിൽ നമ്മൾക്ക് പോകണമെന്നും എല്ലാം നമുക്ക് ഈസി ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാവുന്നതാണ് ആ ഒരു ഇൻഫ്രാസ്ട്രക്ചറിൽ നോക്കിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അപ്പോൾ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഒത്തിരി അനുഭവങ്ങൾ ഇപ്പം ഞങ്ങൾ ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് മെയിനായിട്ടും ഞങ്ങളുടെ കസ്റ്റമറിൻ്റെ ഹാപ്പിനെസ് ആൻഡ് സേഫ്റ്റി ഈസ് അവർ പ്രിയോറിറ്റി അപ്പോൾ അതിനുവേണ്ടി എല്ലാ ഹാപ്പിനെസ്സിന് വേണ്ട എല്ലാവിധ സാഹചര്യങ്ങളും ഞങ്ങളിതിൽ ഒരുക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ട് എല്ലാവർക്കും വേണ്ടി പിന്നെ ഒരു നോളജ് അവയർനെസ് ആണ് അപ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാത്തിൻ്റെയും ഒരു പ്രധാന ഘടകം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നോളജ് ആണല്ലോ അവയർനെസ് ആണല്ലോ അതിന് വിവിധ എല്ലാ സാഹചര്യങ്ങളും നമ്മളിവിടെ ഒരുക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ദെൻ സേഫ്റ്റി നിങ്ങളുടെ നിങ്ങളെ ടൂറിസത്തിന് വിട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എങ്ങനെ നിങ്ങളുടെ സേഫ്റ്റി ഈവൻ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു സെവൻ അതിനുവേണ്ട എല്ലാ ഫെസിലിറ്റികളും ഞങ്ങളിവിടെ ഒരുക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങളെല്ലാം ഇതിൽ നേരിട്ട് വന്ന് ഇതിനെ അനുഭവിക്കുക അപ്പോഴാണ് നമുക്കിതിൻ്റെ ഒരു പുതിയ ഫേസ് റിയലി വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ ന്യൂ ഫേസ് ഓഫ് ടൂറിസം ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ഫ്രം ജെ എസ് സി ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് കമ്പനീസ് 
എന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കും